there's that much pressure. Life against Ruben. Oh my goodness. He locks it in again into the Scion. He is unafraid. But now he does. Didn't see him. JJ the lands the hook. Total trying to run away. Needs one more. The auto does proc Lyra. Also very low. That's first one to Santorin. But it will be traded as Lyra able to grab the kill in Death Denied. Still Piglet. He's going to go down. Santorin grabs the double. Might make it three. Lee Sin. Free win. He collects it all. Oh, JJ, he stole it. Phase three. We went Going for another gank and he's in. We might as well. Vulcan going to hop away, but Santorin follows with the resonating strike. No flash, no hope here for Vulcan. And that's another kill, this time donated to Wild Turtle. Yep, he gives that one over. Yeah. It's enough of an advantage for them to end it before Clutch can get right. enough items. Uh, charge is definitely going to get off. Give him two for sure. And it might even be first turret bonus. They are going to try and take it down. Always a good turret to get if you can. Lyra is going to go drowsy. After the bubble, Pobelsa moving forward. There's the hook in from JJ, finds Vulcan, but he stands besides Lyra to get to safety. So that means Clutch Gaming get an Ocean Drake to try and survive on one of these teams. And if Zoe took another chunk of damage there, Demonte gets to call down Lyra's ultimate and finish him off with JJ. Almost getting stunned. Last Q is true for Piglet. And Clutch have enough to finish off this outer turret and equalize the structures here. Gold lead also going to sit closer to about 15 yeah, to the start here. Hootie gives up the turret that he could have gotten. Drake is low. Santora needs to finish it off. He does find the smite, but here's the fight. JJ knocked up there by Sion. Hootie with a great ult. Oh. Off. Lyra gets the kill into JJ's Viper. Dug into the team fight. Find the two-man stun, but he might be CC'd for a little too long. The knock-up from Hootie is wonderful as Demonte grabs that shot down. Big difference there. And the card, this is goal. Oh, he gets a stopwatch. Nice watch there from Santora and saves his life. Uh, makes a little bit of space for them, but he definitely goes down himself and it is two kills and a turret for Clutch Game. Yeah, Clutch actually go up. Signs engage for the team. So it, it really does seem like it's paying off so much better for them this time around. Oh, Demonte just they can clean this turret. Up oh, you stand for it. That. Boom. There we go. A few more sparkles. Demonte also doing some side landing of his own. We'll take down the outer turret there for FlyQuest and well. So that we want to settle who once and for all between the two on the same team will be the better. Yeah. So meanwhile, the card clutch, Demonte, he's no slouch on the LeBlanc, looking for some burst damage. Well, Turtle also under a bit of threat as the TP is coming in. It's Viper once again. Now a team fight's going to start for Clutch. He's back on an enemy vault lane once more, but instead, they tie up the front line. Viper maybe a little too far forward, but can't keep dancing and shielding up. Lyra's damage not bad as POB. Can't quite find the poke that he's looking for, and Clutch, they just walk away from that. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Hooney right over. Both top laners teleport to the other sides and then make it back to their team. But since Hooney is Scion, He's able to get back at 100% HP, and they take the objective afterwards and be unavoidable. Hooney's going for it. Look at the JJ straight to the wall, but JJ still low, lands the hook. But Sion is just very difficult for them to kill. Viper dancing back around as POB tries to do what he can, but Demonte dives back in, almost oh. got to kill Hooney asleep. Won't quite die total. He's going in for it as Lyra. Does get one stopwatch out of Poe Belter, and JJ somehow lives. Blackwood still fighting on the other side as Viper grabs the shot down. There's one kill back as Centaurin will fall. But Viper still chasing, gets the knockup, lands the stun. No, he just missed his turtle. He's also trying to run it down and get the oh, other oh, kill. Turtle. He lands the stab with a W. He grabs the next kill. Scion's drowsy and back to full health thanks to the war mugs. And Flyquest, they well, finally... I think he chose the clone. Uh, in the end, they still chase down Demonte, though, and they are keeping up the pressure. Lyra now getting flanked. And that's actually the wraparound, but Hooney's have, have enough damage to take him down. They'll get Lyra as well. Viper still chasing. GA still up. Keeps going, keeps going. The stopwatch will not be enough to save him. Hooney trying to run interference in zombie mode, but FlyQuest grab it all. FlyQuest are taking over here. They run right down the mid lane. Barrage. Gets some damage on the Pobelt, though, but Lyra's not up. He can't ult. He doesn't even have it, even if he did. And that will be Baron over to FlyQuest, unedited. And Centaurin did die, but it was a noble one. I don't know how he found that kick onto Piglet, but he did. And that kind of rolled the rest of the team fight over from there as FlyQuest play wonderfully as a team to give themselves this Baron and a pretty significant gold lead once more. The gold standard, of course, is to crack some of these inhibitor turrets. We'll see how Clutch's defense looks. I gotta be honest, I was a little worried for Viper coming into the LCS with the top laners that the teams were sporting this time around. He is the new guy coming up from the academy, the Riven player. People were really worried what was he going to be like without it. And now he's showing up so big in back-to-back -back games this weekend, taking the turret down bottom with the Baron buff. FlyQuest 
Relentless. Not quite enough to finish it off just yet, but they do get the mid in here, but after taking down the turret, and Viper just launches back in. Last few autos, gonna keep dancing away. Has that shield on an extraordinarily low cooldown. And FlyQuest just continuing to stream into the base. Hooney, he popped his stone plate. JJ on the front line. He's gonna land that hook. He pops a watch. Just to try and buy a bit more time, but Vulcan will finish him off. Still FlyQuest fighting Hooney. Not enough front line to live through it all. And now gonna run back and try and take down POB. They'll run interference as they can. Hooney will not be able to get a kill from the grave. And FlyQuest still charging in. FlyQuest look like they are going to run this one through. Yep, mountain break the second. It does go over. Still. And here we go, Viper. Doesn't need the buff just yet. Gonna keep dancing around. Gets knocked up. Finishes off the inhib. He's getting a, a friend to TP in. It's Piglet this time around. A Viper. He manages 1v2. We'll have to see. Ah. Not the but the ulti just yet. The GA though is there. Actually is ready and up with his Fear of Children buff. But it's 1v3. Gets to try and get something. Demonte does grab the shutdown. That is big for Clutch. All right. They really needed that gold. And now they've got it on the LeBlanc. A first champion. Wait. Put him to sleep because FlyQuest are trying to take down the Baron nice and swiftly. Kaisa so good on its objective in turret. They've got to defend. Yeah, player actually just barreling down mid lane, trying to take down some more structures. Viper move his way over. He's working on the Nexus. He's going to take at least one of these turrets. He does move away. He's getting the hits down. He's not going to get CC'd up, but can he get out? He dashes out to safety. Now his team moves in to reinforce and Demonte's out in no man's land. FlyQuest just move in and demolish these inhibs. Yep, with Baron buff too, buffing up super them push into the base after the Elder Dragon, okay. but I think you might be right, Baby. They might go for the reset here with uh, the extra Baron yeah, buffs and powering it. Ah, they were thinking to do it. It does seem like this one for Clutch, but the walls are just closing in around Clutch. They played pretty well to try and push the game to this point, but FlyQuest just looked a little better now, putting the finishing touches on Clutch's rubble as that in hip falls as well. This is the nightmare scenario. Baron buff, super minions everywhere. Zoe's poking you. Oh man. With the ribbon. Slow and steady towards the Nexus here for FlyQuest. Viper though, taking matters into his own hand. He wants to try and take down the Nexus. They can't really do anything about it. There's too much for Clutch to drop on. It's FlyQuest. Stick the landing and take down Clutch. Viper gets one last kill there at the very end, right before. Finishing the touches on the Nexus itself and FlyQuest looking scary. Back to back ribbon games this week, back to back wins 2 0 weekend. And they are surging once again, rightful place at the top of the standing. Absolutely. I think it's always nice to see these players with their pocket picks. You know, you get one, you get you get one win with a champion like Ribbon. Like, okay. Yeah, like, that was cool, dude. That, yeah. You know? But to do it again in such commanding fashion, like, it's not just the pick they're playing because he's really good at it. Because he is. They also believe that they can build comps around it and win games against a very strong-looking team-fighting team for Clutch. Clutch were in that game pretty much the whole late game. Those last 10, 15 minutes, if they could have found a fight, they could have won. But FlyQuest executed really well with their team comp. Yeah, definitely true. The Clutch gaming scale and kind of looming over you the whole time, a little bit unsure. But I have to say, really good play from every member on that team. Hobelter constantly finding the picks with Zoe. We had Santorin in the early game, dominating for the bottom lane, getting those early kills, set up this Kai'Sa. Why 